Ripple XRP promises made, promises kept. Can it reach its all time high and can it go even further than that? I'll be going through that and more in today's video. I'll also be going through my potential exit strategy for XRP itself in today's video. So stick around. Hey everybody, my name is Tom and welcome to the Crypto Busy channel. 72% of you guys who watch our videos are subscribed. If you love what we're doing at Crypto Busy and you want to see more, subscribe today and join the Crypto Busy community. We also have a Twitter at Crypto Busy with over a thousand followers on there. So we'd love to see you on over there as well. It's a great crypto community. We also have a Crypto Busy Telegram group chat with over 2,400 members actively and passionately talking about cryptocurrency on there. So we'd love to see you on there. In addition to that, we also have a Patreon. More on that later. Ripple XRP at the moment is currently just trading around the 30 cent mark. It's found some good support around the, the 30 cent mark region and there's some resistance around the 35 cent dollar region in my opinion now the market in general at the moment it is doing again relatively well we've seen bitcoin just creep up to the twelve thousand dollar region again um, over the weekend and this is all good stuff so in my opinion i do think we are in a new cycle here we're getting out of the crypto winter that we've just had over the past 18 months or so and um yeah it's, it's good to see that in my opinion over those 18 months there's been a lot of consolidation a lot of people um been wiped out in cryptocurrency and um, because they bought at the top and things like that and i think this time it's a new opportunity for everybody to get involved and i think there's greater amount of people involved this time around compared to last time around there's a similar feeling in my opinion there's a similar feeling to the 2017 bull run uh, than where we are right now um, so we are in unprecedented times, also very interesting times at the moment. Yeah, so Bitcoin's doing well and Ethereum is also doing really well as well. Um, lots of the capital is flowing from Bitcoin into Ethereum at the moment because they see some opportunity in that as well. Now, what that means is, is that the Bitcoin dominance is falling and that's a very key statistic that you need to look at and i keep on going on about this in previous videos look at the bitcoin dominance if you look at the bitcoin dominance at the height of the bull run in 2017 2018 it was around 32 percent it's currently around 58 percent that sort of region once it goes below 50 percent we'll be seeing new all-time high territories we're already seeing that with Chainlink, and you know already the bitcoin dominance is 58 percent so that is a key statistic that you have to look out for in the market at the moment so again xrp finding that good support around the 30 cent region and that's all good stuff here. I'm using Luna Crush. It's a great website to use. And, um, you know, they automatically update the prices, which is great to see as well. So what's the recent news for XRP? Well, Ripple optimistic for greater on-demand liquidity and XRP adoption in the Philippines. Now, a lot of promises have been made over the years with Ripple, with Rag Gardening House, with a lot of people at the top at Ripple. In my opinion, I do think they are going to be kept. It's just a marathon. You know, we're not just in a 100 meter sprint here. This does take time. And again, you have to keep on looking back to the XRP release curve. Um, so you have to look at their perspective. It's not just the bank's perspective when they make a decision here and there. It's also where's the company itself? Where's their perspective? And Ripple's perspective is that it's going to be over a, a period of decades, not over a period of months. And so that, that is the sort of perspective that you have to have here. So they're, they're optimistic for greater on-demand liquidity and XRP adoption in the Philippines. This is all good stuff here. And again, as I said in previous videos, you know, XRP, Ripple themselves, they are trying to find themselves in all areas across the world, in South America, in parts of Africa and parts of Southeast Asia. And you're seeing this right here. So it's good to see that there as well, because a lot of people in the world are unbanked and it's a major issue, especially right now. Um, we are about to enter the fourth industrial revolution, and that is going to have a key impact on uh, these areas across the world. And the fact that Ripple is uh, making sure that they're implementing their technology in these areas, it's great to see. Do let me know what you think down in the comments below about what I'm talking about today. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Now we're responding to some of your comments below as well. Again, further good stuff about the Southeast Asia region, about in Asia as well. Ripple confirms on-demand plans for on-demand liquidity plans for India and demands regulatory clarity. Again, with the regulation in the world, I do talk about better regulation, not more regulation, but better regulation, because what comes with better regulation is more trust, and with more trust becomes more adoption and you know more adoption will become better price action in my opinion and this is all good stuff here as well and um, this is a relatively old article here <laughs> relatively i say ripple reveals 2 billion xrp remittance volume milestone ceo says the crypto asset can solve a 10 trillion dollar problem and this is a very key statistic here that you have to look out for um, and this is something that in my opinion i think it does have the ability to do so there's lots of banks out there that do have uh, a lot of money tied up but if they transfer it from one place to the other there's a lot of fees 
taxes involved and uh, it would take too long as well. So Ripple, XRP, they aim to solve this big issue here. It's a big worldwide issue and to unlock that money and to actually use it would be great and you'll be seeing a lot of positive stuff come out of that. Now, if you like what I'm saying in this video and you want to see more and you want to have that competitive edge in the crypto market, join our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. It's $30 a month. You get access to our VIP group where we provide multiple trading setups and potential coin breakouts each month and every week. And on top of that, bi-weekly, we do have a webinar. And the next one is actually going to be today, just before this video is coming out. It's a great opportunity to interact with our traders, talk about the market, break it down and go through the coin calls that we've called for the week and also for the month. It's a great opportunity for yourselves to ask us any questions in the crypto market. Um, we'll answer them as well in that webinar. So if you want to have that competitive edge and you want to be making trades and you want to be profitable, join our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls, $30 a month. It's on Discord. We'd love to see you on there as well. This is just another article saying that Ripple XRP is to stay in cross-border payments market. Brad Garlinghouse gets data rich and content rich in expression. And he's just talking about in his recent tweets, uh, talking about how XRP does still have the ability to do these things. Now, this is from the Financial Times. This is a very interesting chart here. Ripple's cryptocurrency sales stool. And this, you have to look in between the lines here because it's the value of XRP sold each quarter in millions of dollars. And this, so uh, what you're seeing on the side here on this y-axis is the uh, the sales in millions of dollars. And you'll see on the, on the x-axis here is over time. So this is Q2 2017. You can see the bull run, how that affected the price sales. And then there was a, a crash afterwards. So you can see how that does affect the sales. And then there's a sort of a mini bull run. Interestingly and paradoxically, more sales were done in 2019 than they were done in 2017. And again, like we are in the crypto winter. So this is an effect of that. Now, in my opinion, we're out of that crypto winter. We're getting into that crypto summer. What will this chart look like by Q4 2021? Will there be another bar chart that's going higher than this $250 million region? Potentially. I do think it does have the ability to do so, especially with a bull run. There's a lot of analysts out there that's saying that we are in a new cycle, that we're in a new bull run, and this is affecting loads of other coins, not just XRP, but also Chainlink, Ethereum, EOS as well. Lots, lots of top coins that are out there at the moment that are, that are being affected by this new cycle that we're in. Now, Top Trader analyzes odds of Ethereum and XRP moonshots as Bitcoin and for altcoins heating up and this top trader is crypto michael and he's based in amsterdam he's a, a full-time trader from the amsterdam stock exchange um so he's you know very uh, smart guy in these sort of things so he does talk about xrp he talks about ethereum bitcoin so these are all key coins that he's looking at as well and what he's saying with xrp is that there's a lot of resistance at the 35 cent region and also a lot of support at the 30 cent of a dollar region now he he thinks that xrp could go to one dollar and in my opinion it does have the ability to do so i think it does have the ability to go to five dollars and this is my exit strategy for xrp I do think it does have the ability to go to $10 and potentially even $15. And my extra strategy will be anywhere in the region between $15 and $20 because I don't think it could go any further than that within this next bull cycle. You know, it is interesting times, pivotal times at the moment. And we just have to take every day as it is. And you, it, there'll be times when you have to readjust your strategy. You know, in my opinion, I think there will be times that I will readjust my strategy as well. Um, you know, you have to take everything as it is. The fundamentals, the technicals, they go hand in hand. Now, this video is brought to you by AAX. AAX is an exchange that's powered by the LSEG technology, part of the London Stock Exchange, and they currently have a AAB summer sale, a summer flash sale that's starting in three days on the 19th of August. This is when they're having their sale. And the AAB token, it is part of the AAX exchange, and you're also able to stake the AAB token, and you get better percentage yields than any bank account that you get these days. So with the AAB summer flash sale, these are the rules. I'll leave them in the description below, so you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. I'll leave the link, all the necessary links that you can check it out. And they have a total of 500,000 AAB tokens ready to sale. So make sure that you check out AAX, link in the description below, AAB summer flash sale in three days time, 19th of August. Make sure that you're there. Now, this is an interesting thing. You'll see this a lot in the crypto world, especially right now. And you'll see, you'll sometimes see articles and they'll uh, give all these flashy headlines saying that Goldman Sachs offloads stake in Ripple partner MoneyGram. And you can see that they're trying to optimize SEO here by just talking about all the Ripple, MoneyGram, Goldman Sachs. I see that. But I also see 
uh, what's happening between the lines. And you've got to read things between the lines and you'll see a lot of fake news around there. And I'm going to be using that quote, fake news. It's called fake news. And they're saying here that uh, Goldman Sachs offloads stake in Ripple Partner, MoneyGram. Now, this may be true, but the Goldman Sachs are still holding a greater amount of stake in MoneyGram than Ripple is. So they're still holding a fair amount of stake in MoneyGram. It's just they're selling out a lot of value. And if you look at the, if you look at the macro level of what's happening in the world right now, I wouldn't be surprised if banks are going to be selling some of their stakes to make sure that they have some liquidity themselves, um, you know, because we could potentially going into a recession here. So, make, so banks want to make sure that they have enough liquidity when people want to withdraw their money. So this is you have to read things between the lines. Further to that, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway slashes Wells Fargo, JP Morgan stakes and adds Barrick Gold. And what this means is, is that Warren Buffett, the most successful trader, stock trader ever, has become bearish on the banks at the moment and he's become bullish on gold and this does have an indirect boost to bitcoin uh, because you know gold is one of those things where it's a store of value especially in a time of uncertainty and bitcoin has proven itself to be that digital asset version of gold and this will have in, an indirect boost on the rest of the crypto market, in my opinion. So you have to read between the lines. Uh, evidence A, Goldman Sachs offload stake and Ripple Partner MoneyGram. Why are they doing that? What is making Goldman Sachs a bank selling a stake in MoneyGram? Then you have to look at the next article. Why is Warren Buffett, why is he selling uh, stock in banks? Why is he selling bank stocks? And why is he buying gold stocks? And then you have to go and see this and say, well, okay, Warren Buffett's buying gold. It may push Bitcoin to 50K. And, and this is the sort of research that we go into. And this is sort of the reading in between the lines you have to go into with uh, going on articles on the internet and just seeing what the difference is. This is a very key thing that you have to look out for. And, um, you know, you will see people here that try to spread FUD, especially right now, um, because they want to make sure that they get in at a good time and they don't want to miss out on a good price. But that is what it is. Hopefully, I've, I've covered everything I wanted to cover today. Make sure that you comment down below your thoughts and opinions of what I've said today. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll be responding to some of your comments below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel. We've got a lot planned in the upcoming weeks and also months, so stay tuned and subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel. We also have our Twitter, at Crypto Busy, with over a thousand followers on there, so we'd love to see on there as well. A great crypto community. And also, we do have our Crypto Busy Telegram group chats with over 2,400 members actively and passionately talking about cryptocurrencies so we'd love to see you on there as well and again we also have our patreon if you want to have the competitive edge in the crypto market join our vip group $30 a month you provide multiple trading setups and potential coin breakouts each month and every week every other week we do have a webinar so we'd love to see you on there as well and join the crypto busy vip coin calls you'll be joining a group of just under 200 people and we'd love to see you on there as well well that'll be it for me in today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now